Richard Ridge, we're at the reopening of the historic New York City Center, which has been beautifully renovated and modernized. The star-studded gala show was put together by Tony Award winner Kathleen Marshall. I have a dream. A dream baby. It's gonna come true, baby. They think that we're through, but baby. for Matthew, but it's nice to be asked um, to speak about, um, you know, the, the specific history, you know, and how ballet and culture and theater and, and music have um, grown from, from this foundation. And it's, it's a really surprising and interesting history if you don't know it. And to celebrate that is a wonderful thing to be part of in a small way. imagine it not being here. We've had so many great experiences as audiences here. We've, I've worked in this building a lot and had wonderful, memorable um, times here. Things that were really important in my life. And Sylvia. And yeah, Sylvia. I got to play the a dog, dog here. She played a dog here. <laughs> so of course we want the theater to stay. It was such a great show. The city center is a, is an institution, a wonderful institution in uh, in uh, New York City, my home where I live, and and uh, I this is a just celebration of music and what goes on here, and I'm happy I they asked me to be the sort of token classical instrumentalist of the evening. So Carnegie Hall was almost torn down once, and now we can't imagine how anyone could have thought about tearing down Carnegie Hall, and it was this close to being completely gone. And and the fact that that. We're very aware we're saving and keeping these wonderful uh, places. You know, music and, and culture is the heart of what New York is all about. So, so th these things need to be preserved, and uh, it's a beautiful what they've done with the, with the city center. I think, especially with encores, the encore series, it has uh, brought back a lot of these beautiful gems, these shows that people don't even know about, and 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 people have rediscovered. I mean, Chicago came from here, so the revival, and so it's just it's very important. You know, you get to see Alvin Ailey here. This is their home, and 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 and. Con Hopefully there will be continuous shows doing that kind of stuff. You're about to open on Broadway in Porgy and Bess. Tell me what you're looking forward to and working on that show. Well, you know, just to bring back the the importance of this amazing treasure that has been circulating around the world in opera houses and to bring it back to Broadway stage has just been a, a tremendous journey, uh, especially working with the creative staff and the creative team that we're working with. And Audra McDonald's not too bad either. You know, she, she's awesome. And I get to fall in love with her eight times a week. was found in a street. She fished it, she said, from that stream. Oh, you, as in that blue, who ride a water, Because it's really a, a landmark, and uh, I'm here to 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 be to look at the theater and to look at the performance, and I'm so we are so lucky in this city to have so much it's culture. Really, the realization of a long-held dream. It is. I danced here when I was young, and then I came to work here. And to turn this theater and transform it into the jewel it is is really, really a fabulous. I took a trip to Hackensack And after I gave Hackensack the one so far I took the next train back I happened to like New York I happened to love this place This is the town Don't forget, this is the place where no one thinks I have the 
Thank you.